Hello and welcome to another segment of interviews that matter. I'm your host Raj Mehta. Friends, in this segment we bring those guests who influence our lives. This includes elected officials, policy makers, heads of major organizations and other dignitaries. It is my sincere hope that the knowledge brought in by this guest will help our community. Today we have such guest Nassau County Controller George Maragos who is running for election on November 5th. Let's meet George. Sir, welcome back to the show. Raj, thank you for Appreciate having me. Appreciate your time, you know, taking today. It's my pleasure to be here. Yep, and uh, I know that you already have been here on this show about, uh, what, about 14 months ago? Yes. Uh, and it's been that uh, long. Not long, right? <laughs> it's long, that long. <laughs> Very long. Right, right, mm -hmm. yeah. So for the benefit of uh, new viewers, maybe just let's go about your background a little bit. You know, I know you're an entrepreneur, self-made man. Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, currently I'm the NASA County co Controller. Right, exactly. Uh, I'm effectively yeah. the Chief Financial Officer for NASA County, which right. is outside of New York City, right. the biggest uh, county in New York State with uh, approximately 1.3, 1.4 million people right. and a budget mm -hmm. of close to $3 billion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was my first term in, in politics, mm -hmm. uh, having been in the private sector for over 35 years wow. uh, in various uh, senior positions in mm -hmm. in finance, uh, investment banking, mm -hmm. and then uh, in the last 22 years mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, as uh, CEO and founder of my own company in financial information services mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. now my, my sons uh, are both involved in the business mm -hmm. and uh, they're running and I must say they're doing better than I did. So that's, <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> Always good. <laughs> Absolutely. So they're doing well, they're right. happy. Right. Uh, I become a grandfather. Wow, uh, and that's a, that's a tr tr uh, right. tremendous joy, uh, right. and uh, and I'm I'm enjoying politics because it is it has been a unique opportunity to give back to the community, uh, mm -hmm. to bring a lot of the business principles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, into government. Mm -hmm. uh, as mm -hmm. we all know, mm -hmm. there aren't a lot of good business practices in government, right. uh, and consequently, mm -hmm. that is why uh, we have. Mm -hmm. um, issues. Uh, we have people that uh, in politics that can't agree on anything to get done mm -hmm. uh, for the benefit of the community. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And I think I have been a very positive influence in that, in that regard, bringing mm -hmm. a business mentality and a business ap approach to, mm -hmm. to government mm -hmm. that you cannot overspend, you cannot spend more than what, what you, you take in, in and right. then look continuously right. look to to the taxpayers to right. pay more and higher and higher taxes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm happy to say that uh, we've mm -hmm. put an end to that psychology mm -hmm. in in Nassau County, and mm -hmm. I believe we beca we're becoming a model mm -hmm. uh, county for the the rest of the state, if not mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the county. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, because your sons were has kind of running the business, you got freed up, and that's how you got into interested in politics, uh, getting into politics. How did yes. you get in there? Well, by I, as most things happen by by accident, it wasn't something that uh, uh, I planned. Uh, I was always a very private, uh -huh. introverted person. Right. So uh, this is uh, kind of a quite a difference uh, mm -hmm. f for me and, uh, and mm -hmm. quite a challenge mm -hmm. to go from being a private person to a very public person <laughs> where <laughs> nothing uh, is hidden. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Everything is, uh, is out in the, in the open. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. you have to have a thick skin as well to right. withstand a lot of the, the criticism that you get, even when, when you try to do the right thing. And, and uh, you still are being exactly. criticized because exactly. the other side will always find uh, something uh, uh, something fault. Right. Uh, right. But yeah. um, um, mm -hmm. you know, I've always been comfortable with myself. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That um, my intentions are always uh, good, and and I mm -hmm. feel noble uh, mm -hmm. for the benefit mm -hmm. of the community. Uh, mm -hmm. And I sleep well at night, uh, and I think we've had uh, we have had some remarkable mm -hmm. uh, results and progress here in Nassau County. Well, that's what we want to talk about. Like, you know, this, you have all, I mean, four years ago when you got first time into the office, now it's already four years have gone by. The time flies, right? Yeah, sure you know? does. And then second, uh, now second term, you're running for second term in, in November. Yes. On November 5th. Yes. Uh, so uh, what is, what do you think the, how do you, how did you change the comptroller's office from the previous administration? What, do you, what was your, like, major changes that you made? So it's for the, for, you know, like, w what is the major change? Well, you know, I if, you if you recall, in 2009, right. um, the county was almost on the brink of bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, our m fund balance was down to about 60 million, which is uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Our structural deficit was about 250 million dollars, mm -hmm. and and we were borrowing about two six billion dollars, uh, or mm -hmm. the prior administration had borrowed mm -hmm. uh, over mm -hmm. the past four mm -hmm. four years. Mm -hmm. uh, and in order to survive, they had scheduled property annual property tax increases of about four percent a, a, a year for the for the next four four years mm -hmm. well we turned things around completely mm -hmm. uh, first mm -hmm. of all we streamlined government okay. we eliminated about 300 300 million dollars in waste and, and fraud mm -hmm. we reduced the borrowing uh, mm -hmm. by 50 mm -hmm. percent mm -hmm. we eliminated the, ta the plan tax uh, increases mm -hmm. and still mm -hmm. ended with uh, with a small surplus Wow and okay. we continue to to end mm -hmm. n three successive years with mm -hmm. with surpluses that that has not happened uh, before in in the county's uh, history mm -hmm. so right now uh, our fund balance has uh, has increased by about 40 percent mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the amount of borrowing has been reduced as i indicated by 50 percent we only mm -hmm. borrow for capital investment projects as we right. should right uh, we're paying back the debt, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. so actually our debt has, long-term debt has remained flat mm -hmm. for the past uh, four years, relatively mm -hmm. flat. I think, mm -hmm. think it's gone up about $100 million mm -hmm. uh, in, in $3.5 billion, so mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a, it's a mm -hmm. minor uh, increase, and that was mm -hmm. primarily due mm -hmm. uh, to us having to borrow to help our residents recover from uh, Hurricane mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Sandy. Right. But not only have we uh, restore uh, our house mm -hmm. in, in order, mm -hmm. uh, but we've also sent strong messages out to the business community right. uh, that in holding the line on property taxes and taxes mm -hmm. in general, mm -hmm. we basically send a strong message that we want businesses to stay here, we want people to stay here, we want them to invest here. Mm -hmm. And consequently, mm -hmm. what we've seen is that our unemployment mm -hmm. rate, mm -hmm. as you know, has mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dipped to about 6%, which mm -hmm. is about 2% less than I it's in the city mm -hmm. and, and out in Suffolk and, and mm -hmm. the average for, for, the, uh, for, the, uh, for the state. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So our people are working, mm -hmm. uh, they have money, they're mm -hmm. out shopping and spending mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and, and that's coming back in the form of increased revenues, yep, sales, sales tax, sales tax revenues right, for right. the county. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're up mm -hmm. uh, about 10% over mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. a year ago, mm -hmm. and that's an additional a hundred and twenty million dollars in additional revenues into mm -hmm. the into the uh, county mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. even though we haven't raised property taxes mm -hmm. but on the other hand we've uh, increased our revenues right. is, is, is right. very significantly right. uh, and that's why we're in a, in a very healthy uh, financial position going forward mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to continue not to raise property taxes to continue mm -hmm. to invite mm -hmm. businesses mm -hmm. uh, to come here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you, you, you heard, was announced uh, a couple of days ago, that our county executive released his 2014 budget, budget right. uh, without a property tax Increase. hike. Right. That, yes. That's remarkable. Yeah. That would mean now for five years, right. five consecutive years, mm -hmm. Nassau County has not had a property tax increase. Yep. That's, uh, that's I think that's great. a remarkable accomplishment. Yeah, that, that's a great news. I mean, um, but you know, like on, on the opposite side, right? Opposite side who's running against you, mm -hmm. what, uh, what is their claim is the debt has gone up from 2.9 billion to 3.4 billion or something like that. And, and I don't, I, I mean, is it accurate? No, it's, and, uh, and actually I put out a press release. It's, it's, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's a flat out lie. Okay. Uh, I mean, and I didn't mince words because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. if you look at the audited, mm -hmm. independently mm -hmm. audited uh, right. financial statements mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. county, mm -hmm. and you look at the debt, the mm -hmm. total debt, mm -hmm. uh, it was about $3.45 billion when the prior administration and the prior controller left office. Okay. It's projected to be, at the end of this year, mm -hmm. only about 3.59. Okay. So okay. about a hundred and forty million dollars increase, right? Not right. the two, the two billion that he's talking about, mm -hmm. and he's using children in the background to lie to right. that. You know, the, it's this administration that has borrowed two billion dollars, and you small kids will have to pay to pay it back, mm -hmm. uh, which is completely false. Mm -hmm. What this administration mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. has borrowed in in new money mm -hmm. is about one point three billion, okay. versus as I indicated to uh, Swazi's two point six billion mm -hmm. uh, in the, in the prior four years. Mm -hmm. 
but that's, you know, also both those numbers are somewhat deceiving mm -hmm. because you borrow money, but you also pay back. Right. So it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that, you know, they, that uh, your total debt has increased. Mm -hmm. so, uh, mm -hmm. so Swazi uh, increased the total debt by about 400 million. Mm -hmm. He borrowed two six, but mm -hmm. he paid a lot of it back. Mm -hmm. uh, so he left 3.4. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We borrowed um, 1.3, mm -hmm. which is 50% less than what he did, mm -hmm. and we increased it by 100. Mm -hmm. So, but net net, th mm -hmm. the debt mm -hmm. went from 3.45 to say 3.6. Mm -hmm. Very different picture from what his painting mm -hmm. uh, in his, mm -hmm. his his commercial, mm -hmm. and I called him out. You mm -hmm. know, uh, mm -hmm. as uh, flat out lying, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's political, mm -hmm. but it's flat mm -hmm. out lying, it's misleading, misleading and mm -hmm. it's a disservice mm -hmm. uh, to, to the community. Mm -hmm. They're also saying that our, our budgets are phony, our, our, pro our surpluses are f phony. Right, exactly. Well, those yeah. are audited yeah. as well. Right. You know, how can you, you know, in, in, in good conscience, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, dispute, you, you claim to be a CPA, but yet, you know, y y uh, we're using the same auditing firm that you hired, <laughs> Deloitte. It's a third party. Third party. They audit the books. Mm. Uh, they and uh, they certify our budget, right. uh, our surplus. Right. Uh, we have the money in the bank right. to show for it, <laughs> 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 because if you have a surplus, it should go into yeah. the bank, right? Yeah, it should show up somewhere. Exactly. Right. And and we have that. That's been audited. Mm -hmm. The. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Uh, the independent and nonpartisan office of uh, mm -hmm. legislative uh, budget review mm -hmm. has al mm -hmm. also confirmed our, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, our, our surpluses mm -hmm. and our borrowing numbers. Right, right. right. Uh, and as you know very well, uh, mm -hmm. the rating mm -hmm. agencies uh, continuously mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. closely monitor mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. county finances mm -hmm. every time they, they go to borrow. Right. And they've confirmed our, our surpluses uh, mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The biggest mm -hmm. issue that we've, we've have mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. the rating agencies have noted in, mm -hmm. in, in downgrading us by a couple of notches mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is the, what they call the, the weak governance, uh -huh. wi which is pervasive in our society, as you know, where the Democrats and, and the Republicans can't agree on anything. Right. <laughs> and that, that's, a, that's, that's a big problem in yeah. terms of uh, mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. progress to, to serve the, 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 the public. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that has been an issue. It's an ongoing issue. Hopefully, it will be resolved, uh, resolved at the next election. Yeah, again, this election also, all the legislators also go in, right? That's correct. Right, so obviously, you know, Republican had a majority last two years. Right. And uh, because of the redistricting, I guess, you know, they do expect again the majority, I believe. That the, yes, we do. And hopefully, you know, we, we should be, uh, we, we hope to mm -hmm. even gain a super majority. Oh, okay, okay. In okay. which case, then we will have um, uh, exceptional governance, very good governance. So, you know, uh, right now, as you said, the Nassau County finances looks good and they do have a surplus, you know, and uh, $2.79 billion, which county executive just had um, released right. for 2014 without any tax increases. These are all the positive points. Right. And number of jobs also created has been more. And obviously, you know, like 2009, when this administration came in, right, the, the whole country was in a bad shape. Right. It was a recession time. Everybody was really, in, uh, including Nassau County, the whole country was in a bad situation. Right. So obviously, situ uh, uh, from there, the, this, it, it has to go up. And well, it had to go up, but, you right. know, it didn't have to go up in Nassau County. Right. You know, and the worst thing we could have done, you're right, in a recession, right. was to increase taxes. Right. Because we, we have found that, you know, increasing right. taxes when, if you recall, mm -hmm. we were the highest taxed county in the country. Right. So the right. worst thing we could do was mm -hmm. to raise taxes. That is not the right thing. Right. And, and, and we resisted. Special. Actually, we lowered taxes, mm -hmm. the plan mm -hmm. taxes, mm -hmm. and we've seen a more robust economic growth mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. a result. And that's why mm -hmm. our unemployment mm -hmm. rate mm -hmm. now has come down to the lowest in, in the state mm -hmm. at 6%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The city is 7.6%. Right, right. The state right. average is 7.8%. Right. Right. You know, we're mm -hmm. we're part of the same economy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and yet, you mm -hmm. know, for because of those mm -hmm. sound fiscal policies that were instituted mm -hmm. at very difficult times, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, our mm -hmm. our uh, mm -hmm. economy, our local economy, has bounced bounced back much better than than the surrounding counties. Do you think that you know, like the uh, the other uh, government agencies in the county, uh, they are also affected? because of the Nassau County's fin good finances or they are doing better or they are, they are the same? 
Well, uh, they're doing a little better. We're all doing uh, better if our people are working right. and they're paying uh, taxes. Right. Uh, everybody benefits. Everybody benefits. But the example and the leadership always, as you know, has to come from the top. Yeah, yes. And has to come from our county executive. Right, right, yeah. Yep. So county executive is again running again this year. Yes, and it's going to be a very, you know, tough battle, I guess, rematch. That's what they call it. Absolutely. You know. And uh, people are talking about this, and it'll be a most expensive race yes. uh, in the Nassau County history. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of, uh, wh what is, I mean, I'm, uh, maybe I'm asking the wrong question. No, but you ask know, whatever you like. <laughs> but, what, uh, but, you know, what would be the uh, difference of, you know, uh, I mean, the in, in, in winning? Uh, I think it's going to be a close election it's again. It's going to be a close election. Uh, I think it's you know fairly balanced between Republicans mm. and and Democrats. Okay. You know in the in this county, right. it's going to be about uh, getting out the vote, and and right. that's what we're urging uh, our our voters. Please mm. come out. And this is uh, mm. this is a very important uh, election. Right. You know it's about mm. you know mm. your kids finding a job, mm -hmm. uh, mm. or you keeping your job. Mm -hmm. You know it's mm. it's about. Um, uh, mm -hmm. You know, our mm -hmm. seniors being able to afford to stay in their homes mm -hmm. and young mm -hmm. families to, to mm -hmm. buy a home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I I there's very, very s significant um, issues that are, that are, that are uh, at right. stake here. What we don't want to do is mm -hmm. reverse the progress, right. the economic progress right. that we've made in, in, in the last mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, four years. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think the decision is going to be simple. If mm -hmm. people want to pay higher mm -hmm. taxes, if mm -hmm. they think they like paying higher taxes, mm -hmm. then they should vote for the other guys. Mm -hmm. If they mm -hmm. like to pay less <laughs> <laughs> and have a job, they should vote for Mangano and Maragos. Very good, very good. Yeah. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Thank you. Please stay with us. Welcome back to Interviews That Matter. I'm your host, Raj Mehta. We are having a conversation with the Nassau County Comptroller, George Maragos. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. So let me ask you, sir, that you know, last four years you, you were a controller and, and what type of challenges that you have faced and how did you overcome those challenges? I'm sure that you know, it's something new for you. You have never done this before and which is same thing like I, I never did this show before. Right. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, how did you? Well, the biggest challenge is yeah. changing the government, the bureaucracy, the huge bureaucracy that is any government. Right. Changing their mentality and, mm -hmm. and instilling mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. principles. Right. That, you know, that we have to deliver services to the public. Right. Uh, and deliver those services cost effectively. Mm -hmm. Right. The cost effective part was never a part of government <laughs> psychology. <laughs> so to that extent that we b I've brought my business experience and, and instilled it and insisted, mm -hmm. you know, and monitor budgets and monitor mm -hmm. expenditures and question mm -hmm. contracts, question uh, uh, bills that were, that were being paid. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Sent a strong message out, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. the old practices mm -hmm. would not continue anymore. Mm -hmm. We wanted value for the, the money that the government was spending mm -hmm. uh, and, and only e essential services uh, would be paid for. Uh, that was a huge, huge uh, change in, in, in the psychology. And that's why it allows us uh, to go from a $250 million deficit mm. to the successive surpluses that we had as a government. And, and furthermore, being well positioned mm. not to uh, raise property taxes for, uh, for maybe another four years. Mm. So that was a big challenge that we successfully mm -hmm. uh, tackled head on mm. and we succeeded. I'm mm -hmm. happy to say, mm -hmm. uh, a, hu a huge accomplishment. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the challenges I think uh, that we're still mm -hmm. struggling with, uh, you know, uh, w which are beyond our control, some of them, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, you know, we're, we're going to take them on, mm -hmm. is our high property taxes for schools. Right. Okay. We have, we've, you know, we have some of the best schools, right. but they're becoming unaffordable. Right. It's costing us an average of about $30,000 a year Hmm. to educate our kids. And we have a huge bureaucracy in place. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I kind of relate it to New York City. New York City is 8 million people and they have one superintendent. Right. We're 1.4, say, <laughs> million people and we have 56. Wow. 
yeah. you know, with, yep. uh, with uh, assistant superintendents, mm -hmm. uh, assistant administrators, uh, under each of those superintendents, making some of them up to half a million dollars. Yes. That yes. model is unaffordable. Right. Uh, and it's something that needs to be tackled. It's not the responsibility, direct responsibility of the county government. Right. But I believe we have to step up as representatives mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. our communities mm -hmm. and ask the mm -hmm. state to give us mm -hmm. control mm -hmm. uh, because they haven't been able to manage it uh, I similarly mm -hmm. th that they've done mm -hmm. with, uh, with uh, New York mm -hmm. City. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be a, a, a big challenge. Mm -hmm. And 70% of the property taxes that our people yes. pay go school. towards the schools. School taxes, right. And each year they keep going up. Yes, yes. And the single complaint that people mm -hmm. have out there is the high school taxes. That's right, exactly, okay. exactly. And that leads into the next challenge that mm -hmm. we have, mm -hmm. and that is the high cost of living that we have mm -hmm. here in mm -hmm. not only Nassau County, mm -hmm. but uh, in, in, a, in our region. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're going to be releasing a, s a study in the next month okay. uh, that uh, analyzes where mm -hmm. our young people are living, uh, where they're going when they're, they, they leave our county and our mm -hmm. state, uh, and what are the reasons that they're, they're leaving. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the primary reason is the high cost of living. That's right, exactly. Uh, they yeah. can go down south to Florida or Texas, right. make about the same money, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. um, they, they end up say, taking home much more. Right. Uh, and the mm -hmm. primary two reasons for the high, ta the high cost of living is the cost of housing mm -hmm. and the high taxes. Right. So we right. need, if we're going to you know, continue mm -hmm. to grow as a community, mm -hmm. uh, we need to attack the mm -hmm. high cost of living right. by providing more affordable housing mm -hmm. and, and uh, lower taxes. I'm not mm -hmm. going to say, you know, keep them th the same because they're, mm -hmm. they're already very high. Mm -hmm. We need to, we're not only a global economy, mm -hmm. but we're also mm -hmm. a national economy that's very competitive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have to compete, our cost basis have to be comparable, you know, mm -hmm. to other states mm -hmm. and, and, and locales. Mm -hmm. uh, so keeping taxes flat uh, mm -hmm. from the county point of view is a m major accomplishment, mm -hmm. but going forward we have to try to bring those taxes down mm -hmm. to reduce the, the high cost of living. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and if we can do that, then mm -hmm. I believe we're going to attract even more businesses here because it's, it's a wonderful. We have a huge mm -hmm. market. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of talented people yes, that can do. contribute and then compete yep. uh, gl globally, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and and so that I think will be a challenge in 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 the next four years. Mm -hmm. So affordable housing, right, which is very important for the young people. Um, Nassau County has very less space left. Everything is kind of built and not too much open space there. Uh, so what is the what is your ideas of creating more affordable housing where young people can come and, and live there, basically. Well, New York City is even more dense. They have less property than we do. That is true. <laughs> and yet they continue yeah. to, to grow right. and have they're, they're much more development. I think we, we, we need to have a 21st century uh, development mm -hmm. plan okay. uh, that will allow for the creation of affordable right. housing. Right. Right. Uh, right. I think that's essential. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. we have to mm -hmm. look at our zoning uh, laws and, okay. and the incentives that we, we will give mm -hmm. our developers mm -hmm. to, to build mm -hmm. affordable housing mm -hmm. so our, our young people can, mm -hmm. can stay here, can afford to stay here. Right. Right. Uh, right. I, think, I think that's going to be critical. And mm -hmm. of course, the taxes mm -hmm. have to, mm -hmm. the tax issue has to be addressed from, mm -hmm. you know, corporate tax mm -hmm. to, uh, to school taxes, mm -hmm. property taxes. All those combined mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. basically is a, mm -hmm. is a form of, of cost mm -hmm. uh, to our residents, and that has to come down if overall mm -hmm. we, we aim to bring down the cost of living. So, you know, like for, um, when we talk about the school taxes, right, school taxes are way high, and if you look at the school budget, like 80% of the budget is fixed cost, which is, you know, salaries and pensions and health benefit, right? Mm -hmm those things keeps going up. So pension reform can may make, may make a difference here. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely. It's a, it's a huge, it can make a huge difference um, uh, as well as, you mm -hmm. know, the, um, you know, bringing younger teachers, you right. know, that uh, have better skills, more current skills in, into the mm -hmm. school. It's, it's imperative that we maintain, uh, you know, the high caliber uh, mm -hmm. yeah, of our schools and, mm -hmm. and our mm -hmm. e education. I, it's mm -hmm. imperative. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, because as a society where we cannot succeed mm -hmm. you know if we're not providing a, a first-rate world-class education to our students I think you know that right every society that uh, will succeed you've gotten a good education I've gotten mm -hmm. a good education and allowed me to to compete and become successful right in in mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. this day and age mm -hmm. Uh, without a good education, you're not going to compete. And the jobs are not going to stay. Where there is no educated mm -hmm. workforce, yep. the jobs are not going to stay They're there. They're going to go away, gonna go away right. where they can find right. that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. the intellectual mm -hmm. skills mm -hmm. that, they, that they need to compete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, 56 school districts in Nassau County, right? Yes. Each one has a lot of uh, burden, as bureaucracy, you said. Absolutely. Bureaucracy, uh, superintendent, and so many assistant superintendent, and administrator, and assistant administrator. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, obviously a lot of people, a uh, lot of waste and all that, you know, right? It could right. be done. But what I see is that, you know, Long Island is a, like a territorial people. Like, you know, people don't like to lose the control, number one. People don't also like to uh, merge the school district together because they don't want to have the next school district to come and take away their thing or whatever. Uh, so consolidation is not that easy. Do you agree? It's not easy, but nothing is easy. To change, you mm -hmm. know, habits is not, I it's mm -hmm. very difficult. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. is where leadership mm -hmm. comes in. Mm -hmm. Leadership right. that, you know, can, can articulate a vision, can articulate the benefits, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and pull the strings, right. you know, right. to convince people that it's in their long-term best interest, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, to, to make uh, the schools in, mm -hmm. a, in our total mm -hmm. uh, cost of living much mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. affordable, mm -hmm. less cost. Mm -hmm. Higher quality, mm -hmm. so we can go bottom up, right? Like grassroots. We can, you can go bottom up. You can go top down. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you want to go from both directions. Both directions, okay. Okay. And that's where <laughs> leadership comes in. Yeah, yeah, yes. I, I, leadership is right. very is very important. Very important. And and as you know, if if the leadership doesn't have a clear vision, right, then then nothing, nothing else happens. will work. People nothing will happens. disagree, right, and and nothing get gets done. So right. leadership is always very important. Right. Uh, let's talk about the transportation and congestion, right? Mm -hmm. Nassau County is becoming more and more congestion, you know, like there are more and more things happening. Um, what is your, you know, idea of uh, getting it better for the people? Well, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're, s you're s uh, stuck in traffic probably every day on the Long Island Expressway. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I, got, I was late coming here because of traffic at midday. Right, right, um, right. You know, what I find remarkable is right. that um, in, in over 40 years now, not only in the mm -hmm. locally, but mm -hmm. uh, regionally and nationally, right. we have n done nothing to improve our, in our transportation infrastructure. Right. We still have the Long Island Railroad that was built 50 years ago. We mm -hmm. still, you know, have the same roads that were built 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed. But of course, our populations have doubled and, and, and tripled. Right. And that's why we have the congestion. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, and actually, uh, you've probably been to India and then China and, and European. We're being overtaken in terms of our transportation right. infrastructure, right. high-speed right. rails, uh, mm -hmm. uh, better roads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so we, we need to mm -hmm. come up with, mm -hmm. you know, with, uh, with a plan as part of a, an overall mm -hmm. development plan. We, we talked about providing affordable housing. Well, that's mm -hmm. going to bring more people. Right. Uh, so gonna so we're going to have more congestion. More congestion. So those two, mm -hmm. uh, the, the mm -hmm. future development has to be tied into, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, very uh, cost-effective mm -hmm. uh, uh, public transportation. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. going to relieve the, the traffic congestion, congestion that we have on our roads today. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. cannot continue to build roads. We have to, you know, uh, building roads we did 50 years ago. Right. So what's going to be our model transportation systems right. in the 21st century? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what we need to conceive and and start building. Let's talk about the Nassau Coliseum. You know, mm -hmm. recently the uh, it was I mean it's going to be rebuilt, and there'll be a lot of new things coming up over there. Uh, what do you think of the plan of the uh, you know uh, county executive, and also how many jobs it will create? It's a very, exci very exciting uh, development uh, concept that, that we have mm -hmm. uh, that was awarded to one of the, the biggest and best mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, operator that has proven uh, mm -hmm. th uh, in building the, um, the Brooklyn mm -hmm. uh, arena uh, that he has a tremendous organization, he has right. the assets uh, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. build now mm -hmm. a, a state-of-the-art mm 
-hmm. a multi-purpose facility. It's mm -hmm. going to be a convention, mm -hmm. entertainment, mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. as a sports um, mm -hmm. uh, venue. Right. Uh, that's going to have events. Now we have about 180 events, low-cost events. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have over 300 events per year mm. that are going to uh, be uh, high first-rate uh, you know, e events. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. As well as now, is, and, and that's going to basically be a, uh, an incredible mm -hmm. uh, economic stimulus to the surrounding area. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. But that also frees up when the, the lease with Wang comes to an end, mm -hmm. another 70 acres okay. for commercial development. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We're not going to build, uh, I don't believe we're going to build more shopping centers but we're going to build probably a, a, a commercial uh, high-tech mm -hmm. uh, park mm -hmm. where we can attract uh, high-tech uh, businesses, mm -hmm. uh, biotech mm -hmm. uh, businesses, uh, R&D type, type of businesses mm -hmm. uh, that will uh, provide uh, a lot of thousands mm -hmm. of high-paying jobs. Mm -hmm. Just the Coliseum alone mm -hmm. will add about mm -hmm. 3,000 jobs. Uh, okay. to to our uh, mm -hmm. to our base, mm -hmm. so that that's a significant stimulus. Mm -hmm. But the best part as well mm -hmm. is that uh, the, the this uh, development mm -hmm. is not going to cost the taxpayers any money. Oh, that's it's all going to be okay. privately financed. Privately financed, and and will pay back the county. It mm -hmm. will generate revenues mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, th f about five times what we're earning now. Uh, from the old facility that we have. When, the, when is it going to uh, start and finish? Uh, probably what it's going to start. Well, the lease that is there now I ends in 2015. Okay. So it cannot start before okay. unless there's some agreement to mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, terminate the prior, uh, the, the existing lease at an earlier date. So what is your final message to the viewers of this program? Which is, you know, you know the viewers are from Southeast Asia. So what is your final message? to the Well, we, we have a very large and growing South uh, Asian community here. I've right. been to many South Asian uh, e uh, events. Right. They're a right. dynamic and growing uh, community mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. professionals and, mm -hmm. and, and small uh, businesses. Uh, they are facing the same issues that we talked about in the high cost of living, uh, jobs, careers, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to let uh, let them know that uh, I, as an immigrant as well, right. uh, have had similar issues, uh, issues similar to, to confront uh, with right. them. I, I share their concerns, uh, the ethnic concerns that we mm -hmm. all have. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Most importantly, being you know our our jobs mm -hmm. and the education of our kids, and that's what we talked about here today. How do we make those better? Uh, reducing uh, the cost of living, providing more jobs, mm -hmm. and making sure mm -hmm. that we, we have the best and affordable education for our kids. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Much. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, comments, you can email me at rajamitv at gmail.com. Again, that's rajamitv at gmail.com. You can watch our prior shows at youtube.com slash Infosys International. Again, that's youtube.com slash Infosys International. Don't forget to vote on November 5, George Maragos for the controller. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for having me.